Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my vertical happy planner for the first week of June. And I'm going to be using Live Love Posh's Summer Elements. This came in a four box or a four book box, but I believe you can buy them separately over on her website if you haven't grabbed these yet. This is probably my favorite book out of the whole box. I love all of the different kinds of designs that are in here and I think I'm going to be using this blue one. It was just speaking to me when I flipped through this, although this is really pretty too. I didn't make it through the whole book. Ooh, this is really pretty. Um, but yeah, uh, I have my affiliate link down below along with my discount code if you'd like to use that. Uh, I'm gonna use this one though. I'm gonna keep it where, um, with what I initially wanted. And I am looking for my little book that has all of the different, um, all the box stickers that I own so I can try and color match some of these. I did just switch my whole office slash craft area around. So this is a new setup for me. I kind of have more space, but I am hoping that the lighting in this area is good, but we'll see after I film this. So let's see. So I'm going to flip over to the blue boxes. And I'm just going to kind of gauge um, I really want to try and find this color but I think it's gonna be hard let me see if she has it in the back here she does put some books some boxes in the back but it's only this deeper blue color but this color is really pretty just don't know if I can match that I'm gonna pull one up and just kind of see what kind of works. I like the winter. I think I might pull winter. Maybe summer too could work too for Mojo Jojo. I'm going to do that. So let me pick out those real quick. Winter too. Where is it? I haven't used it in a while. I have winter two, and then her blue boxes are somewhere. Right here. Oh no, I'm doing Mojo Jojo Summer too. I'm looking at the wrong thing. There's so many books now. It takes a while to look through. Okay, I have these here and now we can get started. So, I know I haven't been on here in a while. The kids have been out of school for about 2 weeks now and I'm finding a hard I'm finding it hard to find a balance between having them home and getting work done. I don't know how other mamas do it who like record and have a business from a home, but it's been really hard. And I think one of my babies is up. I'm trying to do it during nap time. Okay, we might be good. So I see striped in here, so I was thinking maybe I could go with some stripes. Kind of bring in some contrasting color. But let's start. So I initially want to go in with Let's see what all the designs we have. I want to use this one for sure. And it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to put it in this corner here and then I'll put a box on the left side of it to kind of cover up that area. Or I could use like a tree maybe to cover that up. I think that might work. Okay, let me get my little exacto. I'm going to trim this off so it goes off to the next page. Okay. 
like so, and I'll have to cut that. Okay, I like that. I do want to use this one too, and I'm debating on whether I want to use it like up here or down here. I feel like I'm just going to use it down here just because I already have this scene going on at the bottom. So let me grab some white out for this. Put that there. Okay. I kind of want to put a long box here, so let's find a box. This blue is pretty. That blue is pretty. I don't know if those two blues kind of match though. But this green could work with it too. And we have the dark blue. And I'm feeling like doing the green over here. Kind of break up all the blue. I wasn't initially, oops. I wasn't originally planning on that, but I think it could be a good addition. So I'm going to line this up at the top here. And then we're going to lift this up. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to take a header and layer that over here. Grab that done. I was thinking about putting these up here, but then I'm covering oops. I'm covering up June somewhat. I don't know if I want to do that. But we'll leave it like that. Okay. Let's see, I like, I like these postcards and I like the seashells. We do have quotes that I need to remember to use. I'm gonna grab Hello Summer. I might layer it over here and then let's find something for over on the side I'm gonna grab this girls just want to have some And we're going to wait on that. Okay. Since I want to use the shells, I'm going to grab one of those to kind of layer with. And I do absolutely love these books. There's a smaller set over here. And then besides these bigger ones, I think the smaller ones I'm going to use for the seashells. So let's grab some boxes. Let me check out winter real quick just because I already have it pulled out and see if I want to use this lighter blue too along with the darker blue. I think it could work, but let's see. Okay. I do want to start with the darker blue. I already used the square. And since I have the box up here, I'm going to start off with this cluster down here. And then Let's grab 
grab this one and I'm gonna grab you know what I think for this one I'm gonna grab the next size up put this one back so I'm gonna put this one down here and then that one right in that corner. Where do I want this one at? I know over here I normally like to put like a big box and for some reason I think this might be pretty over here. Baiting on these boxes right now. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do over here, since I have boxes here, I feel like I'm gonna put either a box or checklist up here, which I should probably do first just so that this isn't in the way. So I'm gonna put a cluster up here and let's go in with that medium blue color. I'm gonna start kind of lower, I feel like. And since I already have some bigger ones of this green, I'm gonna use a smaller. And then what other color do we need? That light blue. Okay. I don't normally stack them like that, but I don't really mind it either. I just want to kind of switch up the way that I'm layering. Okay, I'm not too sure about that yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this quote down here. Girls just want to have sun, and I want to layer some of these behind it. some seashells. I'm going to add one down here. And then this is really crooked. So let's fix that. Okay. I want bullet points right here. Let's see if we can find some. And I'll need tweezers, so let me grab that. And let's do this brighter blue. I'll do three of those there, and then I'll probably do some down here as well. And let's do the green down there just since I already have it opened to this color. We have the bullet points there. It's kind of open here, so 
I want to find something to add here that's not going to be like too much. I feel like that might be. Let's see what else we have. I could add some flowers. See how this looks. I think it might look a little weird, but I'm just gonna keep adding a few things in here. Okay, let's move on to the next page. This page is pretty much full. I shouldn't really add too much more over there. So on this side, I want a big box or a long box, but I already put the long box over here. So let's go ahead and grab a bigger box. I don't know if this is going to be too much of that color because we have all of that blue down there. But then again, I don't want to use another big green one. And I don't have a big green one. I have one with lines that I could use. Let's see. Move this over to the side. I'm going to lift up this Hello Summer. It's kind of stuck on there. There we go. And then I'm just going to put this right over here. Okay. I think this will be a good spot for this, so I'm going to grab my scissors and trim off the bottom of this so it just lays flat across the top of that box. Great way to fill in the rest of those days over there. I really want to use this, but I kind of don't know how or what I want to do. I'm thinking it could be like a background of another cluster that I do. So let's see. Let's start that there. Let's grab some boxes. I want another full box. So let's do... This lighter blue color. Thursday and then we'll grab this blue color and then kind of go up with the cluster to kind of fill in this shape that I have. Let's get another dark blue. I have not used another one and I need to. So let's grab this one over here. kind of all blends in. It kind of fits right there. Don't know. I don't normally do a whole across the page cluster, but it's not bad. I do feel like I need more of this darker blue in here, so I can either do that with some of these designs or with more boxes. But I don't know where I'd put more boxes. So let's see. I have this space open right here. So Let's do a few bullet points. Or should I lower it? I think I'm going to lower it down some. I'm going to start right here. Just so it's not right next to the other blue. So I'm going to do this one right here. I think I might do two. 
I don't know. I normally always do three, so let's just keep it like that. Okay. So I think I'm good on boxes and everything. I didn't end up using this, but I also didn't end up using that striped shirt. So I think I'm going to leave that out for now. I do want to go in and add some finishing touches. So I'm going to grab this. We have some of these earrings. I wanted to add more dark blue in here, but I don't have any other fashion elements, so I think it might look funny. Let's see, I don't really have much more to add, unless they're like big potted plants, but I don't have the space for that. I could take some of these flowers, but I don't want to start stealing stuff from another set that I could potentially use for another spread. Hmm. I could put these there though. Hmm. I think I'll skip. I think I'm gonna call this good. Good. It's nice and full and pretty. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Remember to like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.